Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're working on a KitchenAid. And so basically what we've got is um, the meat grinder attachment on this end here is basically uh, become dysfunctional. You can see here the splines on this gear are worn. So in order to get this gear off, you have to take the C-clip here. Uh, of course, you need to take the cap off. There's four screws that hold the main top on. And there's a cover over here that has four screws. But basically, in order to take this gear off here, <clears throat> and uh, with the uh, attachment, the meat grinder attachment, I had to replace that inner gear there the one inside there on the bottom right. I had to replace that because that's part of the uh, front part where the meat grinder, grinder attachment fits in. So I had to replace that one because it was a little bit kind of marred up. And let's see if I can pull that out. So anyway, to pull this, <clears throat> This gear off here, basically there's a C-clip that goes around here and you can pull it off with screwdrivers, but it's a lot easier to pull it off. You have a C-clip uh, uh, wrench. And so basically it just slide up here. And there's probably gonna be a uh, a key in here, a key keeper, to keep this in place. Uh, there may or may not be and I think actually this one is is kept in place by this sort of spline in here and if we look at all the rest of the gears the rest of the gears look fine this this is the first one I've had with a, a meat grinder attachment issue okay so this is the professional HD model and the exact model number will be underneath you have to turn it sort of upside down and look on the bottom for the exact model number but for the parts on the uh, external attachment here if you have a grinding problem these gears are made to go before the motor uh, goes so basically the gears are sort of like a fuse in the system and so this this part these gears here these are the two gears here right right here one is one has a sort of a sleeve on it one is just this the short short one and so uh, the one with the sleeve is called this is called the gear hub so this is the, the part that goes in here that's real easy to replace. Um, the other part is the whatever the top worm gear there, and uh, let's see, was it called uh, the center gear or the gear center? And so, yeah. So this is going to be a part number, Whirlpool Corporation, nine seven zero three 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 seven. And then this uh, gear hub, the top gear here, is going to be the 9703333388. And so if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And you can send me an email. It's Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. And if you need any help, you can contact me at 707-445-1591. Or if you need to buy some parts, I also sell parts. So let me know. Thanks for watching.